All right, good morning everyone. I did not get as much sleep as I usually do. I was working on some court stuff last night, so I was up late. Okay, so basically I wanna talk about um, life is going to send you trials. There's no doubt about it. You will have trials in life. The Bible talks about it, right? And you are not going to get out of trials, but how you respond to them is going to make all the difference in the world. So we have an enemy, we have a devil who is a slanderer and accuser of God's people. And Kevin Leandro right now is being used with my husband and my husband's being influenced by him to say all kinds of lies about me in court. And I have a lot of videos about this. So the latest lie is identity theft. And I'm going to talk about this because it's important. Um, so, when the the enemy in life, okay, Satan wants to be the accuser, you need to understand you walk by faith in life and to grab those fiery darts that he throws at you and just fling them back because we are in a spiritual battle. We know it. We know there's good. We know there's evil. Anyone who denies it is not living in reality. Um, so the latest lie from Kevin is identity fraud that or identity theft that I actually put a video on here showing all my husband's information. If you look back at that video about a financial affidavit, it is not showing all his information. Um, so Kevin has used that in court to say that not only did I show this to the whole world, which I didn't, but that on top of that, my husband has identity theft not true at all, Kevin. So the truth is, and this is where you have to speak truth when accusations are coming your way. The truth is my husband and I had an agreement that I would handle all finances, full authority over the finances. So I left, um, I didn't leave him. I left with his permission. Well, I didn't need his permission, but I said, hey, we're going to Colorado because I wasn't his estranged wife. He actually left me homeless and said, you know, what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. So I said, well, we're not going to be homeless, so I'm headed to Colorado. So in the meantime, he's sending money, and I have proof of this in my bank account. He's sending money, and he's having me deal with all the finances. So he already had me take a credit card out in his name before, and he went to Lowe's, and he tried to fix up the trailer with it. So with good intentions, I took out another credit card in both of our names, a joint account, knowing I had his permission. And um, this was, I had full permission to deal with everything with the finances. And um, I took care of that to take care of our finances. So now, because he wants a divorce, he is now using this and twisting this to say, I stole his identity. Um, there's, there's no no proof of this. There's proof that I have had permission and I have, uh, with his permission together, we have taken out credit cards. So his money is my money. My money is his money. And that's always been the agreement. So now he's trying to twist this in court. And so I have to deal with this in court now. So don't be afraid of the truth. Don't hide. Don't be afraid of anything that comes your way. If you are being accused of things, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and say, hey, this is what the truth is. This is what happened. This is how it happened. This is what I was thinking. And a lot of times the enemy will condemn you. And many times you're like, geez, I don't even know how to digest this. I don't even know how to, how to deal with this. And you can condemn yourself. You can feel guilty. You can feel like you are guilty when you're not. So that's when the enemy gets in there and he wants to throw uh, guilt and condemnation your way. So the truth is I had my husband's permission and I we worked off that trust. He trusted me, I trusted him, and then he took over with the finances and made a ton of decisions on his own without me, including selling his motorcycle. So don't be afraid of the enemy. The enemy is... There are going to be trials in life. It's part of life. There is trouble. It says in the Bible not to worry about each day because tomorrow has enough trouble in of itself. And that's the truth. So my reputation, my character, no criminal background. Uh, I mean, no criminal 
I, I don't have a criminal background. I don't have anything. I graduated early from high school, graduated, went to college, graduated from hairdressing school while I was pregnant, homeschool mom, military mom. There's nothing in my character with, that would show I was trying to be deceitful or my intentions were not for good. So my husband's trying to change this and make it look like it is, uh, you know, something he didn't know about. He has every opportunity to check his credit score. He has every opportunity to ask me where the finances are. I have always tried to say to him, this is where we're at years ago. I told him about the electric bill. I told him about the mortgage. He didn't care. So he always just didn't care about the money. But Kevin now is trying to come along and lie about me to the courts again. So I called the courts today and they're like, uh, you can file an appearance or a withdrawal. So I had to think about this. And what I did not understand, people have been like, is it worth it? Is it worth going through this? And what I didn't understand is if you wanna withdraw, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have orders from the court. It just means your voice will be taken away. So of course you do want your voice. You can trust God and you do want your voice. So I will be going forward with participating in my divorce case. It's mine too, so why would I not have a voice? Um, a lot of people think if you don't participate, then the divorce closes or you know your husband's still going to have a divorce, but they think you don't have to deal with stuff anymore. And that's not the truth. You have to still deal with stuff. It's just you don't have as much say. So make sure you do stay in the game and make sure you continue. So I will be working on court stuff today and doing some stuff because I'm in another state. My time limit is a little bit shorter than what it should have been. So um, make sure you stay in it and keep your voice loud and clear to defend yourself.